Hi, everybody. All right, all right, that's, that's enough of that. All right, so we got a beautiful sunrise this morning. We're getting a ton of stuff done today. Just, you know, I always wanted to, always wanted to get some B-roll, and, and here we are. So in today's video, we're doing two things. We are going, well, yeah, two things. We're going to be working on the wiring, and then the wiring is going to frustrate me. So I'm going to stop wiring, and then I'm going to go over, and we're going to connect up the pitot tube. So it's time. Uh, it's, it's, again, the nice thing about finishing up the plane is that it's a whole bunch of milestones and a whole bunch of, uh, closure, really what it is, right? Including, and, and, and you know, and it's all sub-projects, including this pedo, st uh, pedo mast. But of course it would have been nice if I'd have drugged the camera over there so you can see what I'm doing. So the big thing about the pitot mass is that there, oh, that's a, it, that, there you go, that's at least a little bit better. So we're connecting up the wires. So we've already got the wires already plumbed, everything is good, and it's two thick blade connectors. Uh, and again, this is a twisted pair. So it's a twisted pair of 14 gauge wires. This is a lot of power, it's like 15 amps. It's a 20 amp breaker, because it's, it's 200 watts of heating power. And then of course we will connect up the two quarter inch vinyl pitot lines. Now the one thing I will admit to, well, there's several things I could admit to, but, in, but here, um, so if you look in the fuselage, the quarter inch vinyl is color coded. Clear is for the static, blue is for the pitot, and green is for the angle of attack. Because again, the pitot tube I have has a special angle of attack pitot chamber, right? And it's basically just another pitot tube, but it's angled more or less 18 degrees down. So as you pitch up 18 degrees relative to your angle of attack, you're going to start getting more air going through that. And that then triggers the angle of attack warning going, hey, you're getting some air pressure inside your angle of attack tube. Well, all, all that in the fuselage is color coded. However, in the wing, I was so desperate just to get it done because I was bored and had nothing to do that I just used clear vinyl. Now it's no big deal, they're both labeled and all, but again, you know, just one of those little details. So with all those hooked up, we're going to be very, very happy. Again, it's really only four things at that point. Uh, two AN, I want to say, ooh, AN3? Maybe it was AN3. The, the, yeah, the two air inputs, I believe it was AN3 to the tubes. Uh, I'd have to look it up. Anyway. Now that we're done with that, it's back to the wiring. So, you can see the red and white wire twisted pair hanging down. That's the wire that goes out to the pitot tube. Uh, the only thing that I haven't decided yet, and you'll see later, is do I... I'm using a chalk as a backstop for the heat gun. Is do I plug that pitot wire into the main connectors that Vans wants you to use, or do I keep it separate? The idea being that Vans designed this with these connecting spots up front by the wing root where it'll house the perfect shape for, you know, like big Molex 12 pin connectors to go through, which is all fine. Problem is, uh, you know, maybe I need to disconnect my pedo for some reason and I don't want to disconnect everything else in the wing. Well, unfortunately, this is a small wing, right? It's just lights, pedo tube, and outside air temperature probe. That's it. So it's not a lot. It all fits in one connector. So we still haven't figured out if we're going to do it or not. All right. In the next video, we're going to have the final fly LED video. That little journey can come to an end, too. So, All right. Thank you for joining me, everyone. Hope you have a good week. See you soon.